Hi friends, Lindsay here from Diary of a Homeschool Mama, and today I wanted to share with you our first grade year and review. So we are done with our first grade year, and I wanted to show you everything that we used and let you know if we liked it, if we didn't like it, if we would use it again. Um, and I'm also going to share what we plan to use for second grade um, without actually showing you the items, but I will be doing individual um, videos for each item once everything comes because I have purchased something separately so they might come at different times and stuff like that. But without further ado, I want to go ahead and go into everything that we used and let you know what we thought of it. So the first thing I want to talk about, and I've talked about this a little bit on my channel already, um, is the Good and the Beautiful's Arthropod Science Unit Study. And we absolutely love this. Um, we just finished it the other day, and so that's why it's out of the binder and everything. Um, I'm actually going to be selling it, and um, but we did. We really, really loved this. Um, I will link below the flip through and everything that I did of it so that you can get a better look into it. But um, I love the way that it is a unit study layout. Um, it took us, I want to say, about 10 weeks to complete, and... It, sh it was just amazing. It was the first science program that we found that we absolutely loved. Um, my favorite thing I think about it is the science wall. We absolutely loved this. And um, my kids actually really learned from that. Like they know all the vocab. They are able to talk about it with their friends, with their family and all that kind of stuff. So absolutely love the good and the beautiful for science. Um, I would definitely use it again, and we do plan to use it again for my um, first grader for his second grade year. We are going to be using the human body unit, the marine biology unit, and the two energy units. So I will be doing separate flip throughs for all of those for you guys to see um, coming up here soon. The next thing I want to talk about is our spelling curriculum. Now, this is something that we started about halfway through the year, so we didn't complete the whole thing this year, and I do believe we will carry it over to next school year, um, and I just have the teacher's guide here because, like I said, I do have a whole flip through of most of these items, so I will link all of those below, but uh, so far, we really did love this. Um, sorry if I sound a little out of breath. I am starting to get a cold, so breathing is really hard right now. <laughs> So if I sound a little breathless through this video, just bear with me. But um, we really love this, and I think it really helped my son a lot, um, not only with spelling, but also with reading, because throughout the lessons, it's it has them write the words, but also has them read them out after when they're done. So um, he learned a lot. He learned how to read a lot of new words from this, which was awesome. And we would definitely use it again. Um, like I said, we'll probably be still using this level next year, but, uh, if he does finish it, I think I will get level B. I'm not positive on that though. Um, so the next thing that we used was all about reading level one, and I can't say enough good things about this curriculum. It is absolutely amazing. Um, we loved it. We actually are not a hundred percent done with it. We still have about, I think 10 lessons left, but, um, that's just because we took a lot of breaks this year and, um, so we're, we were a little bit behind with this. So our school year technically is over other than just finishing this up. So, but we really loved it. And I saw a lot of progress with my son through his reading um, for this year. At the beginning of the year, he wasn't really reading at all. And now he's reading like three, four or five letter words. So it's really awesome. Um, and his fluency is getting a lot better as well. He He used to read like pretty slowly like most kids do when they first start out but now he can read the stories to me pretty quickly which is really awesome um this this curriculum is really tremendous and we will definitely be using level two next year and then I also want to mention um we will actually be starting a language arts program as well this year I didn't do anything with grammar um, so he will be doing the level one of the Good and the Beautiful language arts program. Um, and it does have a lot of reading in it, but he loves all about reading. So we're actually going to be doing both. Um, and he'll just be getting double reading practice, which he's fine with and I'm fine with. So it works out. 
The next thing I want to talk about is his math for the year. Um, we did level one for master books, math lessons for a living education. Um, I do have a whole review on this. So like I said, I will link it below. But um, if you've watched that video, you know that this was not something I was a fan of. Um, to me, after looking into other programs um, and looking at the scope and sequence and everything of some other um, grade one programs, this is more on the level of kindergarten for, in my opinion. Um, so I'm not going to dive too deep into that because I've already done that in another video. But um, I just didn't find it to be challenging enough for him. So yeah, we definitely would not use this again. I'm really not a big fan. But uh, next year for math, we will be using the Good and the Beautiful's math. We are going to start with level one and see how it goes. And we might go through that pretty quickly and then move into level two once they release it in the fall. So that is our plan for now for math. And I will be doing an unboxing of The Good and the Beautiful's math when it gets here. I am really excited about it. So, And the last thing that we used this school year for um, social studies is My Story 1 from Masterbooks. Again, not a huge fan. I've found that a lot of the things I've used from Masterbooks I haven't really loved and um, so I think I'm going to kind of steer clear from now on of them, not to say that it's a bad company at all, because I know for some people that this really works, the gentle approach, the Charlotte Mason, like that's right up their alley and that's great. But for my individual child, it just wasn't a really good fit. So um, I don't know it, this curriculum, I was really excited about it when we started the year. But it's, it's very, very repetitive. Um, you kind of do the same things every week. Like there's, um, there's coloring every week. And then there's um, just the same type of activities. Like there's these word searches every single week. And by the end of this, he was kind of, he didn't want to do any more word searches. Um, but we didn't even finish this completely. I think we got through like... I want to say maybe 20 or 25 of the lessons out of, I think, 36 weeks. So, yeah, we did kind of just, like, let this go because it just really wasn't a good fit and it was a lot of the same things. But next year for history, we will be using the Not Grass, Our Spangled Story, or Our Star Spangled Story, sorry. Um, and it is their newer curriculum. It came out about a year ago and they did send it to me for free for my review. So I'm, I was really, really excited about that and I'm really excited to dive into it. Um, I do actually have some videos of it on my channel, so I will link those as well. So look for like, I don't know, six or seven videos linked in the description box of all this stuff so that you guys can get a closer look of it. And do take what I say about certain curriculums with a grain of rice because, um, with a grain of rice, a grain of sand. I don't know what the saying is right now. <laughs> my cold is really getting to my head, obviously. But, um, you know, don't, don't take it to heart because if something that I say I don't like is working for you, then that's totally fine. Um, everybody's child is different and everybody's child needs different things for their schooling. So everything that isn't working for me may work perfectly for you and everything that is working for me and that we love may not work for you. So I just wanted to give this year in review mostly for um, for me to look back on, you know, and to give some people some ideas um, and kind of show you guys what we did use. So that is all for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Again, sorry about how I sound. I am feeling a little bit under the weather lately. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. And I would love to hear from you in the comments about what curriculum you use this year and what grade your student is in. So I will see you guys later. Bye.